Whenever you are filming a video, no matter what it is and no matter where you're filming it, there are certain things you need to keep in mind. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about specifically what to keep in mind when filming indoors, especially in smaller places. Hello, I am Lee from Anything Cameras, the channel that focuses on helping you improve your filming and photography. And today it's all about filming indoors and what you need to keep in mind so that your videos always look 100%. Before I give you any of these tips, keep in mind that a lot of this stuff should be kept in mind no matter where you're filming, but this video is oriented towards indoor filming and some things might not apply to outdoors. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you need to keep in mind is your audio and you might be thinking, well, I always keep my audio in mind. I have my microphone and I have my camera to record the audio. Well, it gets a little more complicated than that. So when you are filming indoors, you might be in a room that is echoey. And if you're in a room that's echoey, that creates terrible audio. Echoes sound terrible in videos generally, unless it's an effect you're trying to go for in some movie or short film. So in general, you want to reduce echoes, which might mean putting up blankets, hanging blankets on the wall to reduce the amount of sound that is bounced off of these walls, or finding a smaller space to film in that's less echoey. For instance, this studio right here is quite small and we have uh, blankets and towels hung up on some of the walls to keep the acoustics sounding good. So it's not just the acoustics of the room that you need to keep in mind, you also need to make sure there are no background noises. For instance, if you live in a house or apartment with an air conditioner that runs most of the time in the hot season, or a furnace that might come on or off during your filming session, that can cause interruptions in your audio a low humming in the background you might not notice when you're recording will be very very obvious once you jump into the editor and start listening to your audio and something like an air conditioning hum or a refrigerator hum is very hard to remove from audio in post processing so just make sure to unplug any appliances that will make a lot of noise when you're filming now I know this sometimes can be tricky you can't really unplug a furnace and they're kind of set but what you can do is try to time out when your furnace turns on and film in between when your furnace is blowing air or try a space heater that's very quiet and turn down your furnace so that it doesn't come on when you're filming. Also, it's not just appliances that make noise. The big noise makers generally in buildings are humans. So make sure that other humans are aware that you're filming and if you're on good terms with them, ask them politely to keep the audio levels down in the background because sound can still travel through walls no matter how thick they are and so even a foot thick concrete wall if somebody's screaming on the other side you will hear it in your audio and the next thing you need to keep in mind is your lighting and this is always always important but indoor lighting can be tricky because you don't have the sun all around you like you do outside. You only have windows to let in light and your only other option other than the window is gonna be artificial lighting. Now, regular house lights tend to look very ugly so those are basically out of the question. So now you have to set up more expensive lighting. So if you're planning to film indoors but you don't have the equipment, just keep in mind that it can be more expensive to film inside because you do have to invest in some lighting equipment. Lighting was quick, but don't forget that it is one of the most important factors in getting a good image. But let's move on to our next thing to keep in mind, which is your background. And background is very important. If you have a plain drab background, your video is going to look plain and drab. And if you have a background that looks interesting and exciting, your video will tend to be more interesting and exciting. Take this studio as an example. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in the background that makes the image look better and it makes it pop a little bit more. Now if this was just a blank white wall behind me, it would look absolutely horrible even with the same lighting setup. So now you might be thinking, well I don't want a background that distracts from my subject and that is true. You don't want something so busy and so bright and vibrant and obnoxious that it pulls the viewer away from the subject and to the background. But there are ways to avoid having an overbearing background and that is keeping it out of focus, 
keeping the colors a little more mellow. So not having super bright oranges and pinks and reds and yellows all over the place. And also make sure that your subject is in very crisp focus. People do not like looking at unfocused parts of the frame and they like looking at focused parts of the frame. So if you make sure your focus is spot on with the background out of focus and your subject clearly in focus, then a more complex background will look nice and improve on the image rather than detract from the image and pull the attention away from the subject. Lastly, you want to keep a tidy space. Messes just look bad. You can have a lot of stuff in a background, but you don't want to have a messy pile of junk. And this is very important because nobody likes looking at a messy image. Messy images deter people and make them want to click away from your video. And also behind the camera, you want to keep your stuff organized because there's nothing worse than a messy studio space. Coming in to a messy studio space and trying to work in there is horrible. You can't find stuff you need, it takes longer, and it's just a drag and nobody likes it. Especially if you're filming with other people and they walk in and see a mound of junk on the floor, it's just going to dishearten them because they think, oh wow, another long day in the studio because somebody can't find the battery or the camera lens mount adapter is who knows where. So make sure to keep your space clean background and behind the camera. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon. And if you really wanna see something right now, just click right there for a video that YouTube thinks you should watch.